Yo, what is up guys, Bloxivix here, back with another video on the channel. Today guys, we're going to look at Bloxwork 0.10.5 update 2022, leaks, news, as well as a possible government release and some more info about this update. But of course, before we begin, be sure to subscribe, like, comment and share, and uh, yeah, let's get on with this video and roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're actually going to look at in today's video are actually the leaks in Kubis' inventory. So if we go to here, we have Plot Overlay, which is pretty much, I think this is going to be like a type of highlighting plot. Like, we do already have the highlighting plots in Blocksburg, but I think this is definitely going to be like a revamped version where it's going to shine the whole plot in like a white uh, illumination, like instead of blue, which you can't really see in the dark, it'll be like a white illumination uh, so people can see like what plot they're going to spawn in at night time. That's my prediction. A lot of people here are saying this is blinding me, new plot maybe. Uh, I love how everyone says it's a school because that's the type, a type of meme that Ashley started uh, saying that it's a school. So definitely go right there. I definitely do think it's something to do with uh, loading in your plot. So definitely pretty cool. Then we have main background. Now what interests me about this is, again, like every YouTuber says, it is a transparent image. I don't know why Kubis decided to make it transparent. Maybe so people could actually like color, color the grass and maybe he can test the colors of the grass. I don't really know. Maybe he's testing it for the April Fools update. Again, we don't really know. There's not really much intel on this update, but we will get to the intel that the upcoming features section has. So stay tuned for that. But we have main background, we do have plot background on the two of Acres and Riverside. Pretty much just pictures of the map, but on Riverside and Bloxy Acres. So not really much there to really talk about. So definitely pretty cool. Then we have probably the most important part of any Bloxburg update like ever in history is the Welcome to Bloxburg test server. Now if you guys don't know what the test server is, it's pretty much exactly like Bloxburg, only they've got unfinished assets, they've got scripts that haven't been implemented into Bloxburg. So like maybe uh, they've got like, I don't know, maybe they've got like new furniture or new appliances in this test server to be ready to be released into the main game but they actually need to test before they actually do release it to the main game, if that makes sense. So pretty much what I'm trying to get at is like, maybe they have unfinished furniture, appliances, maybe they've got weird types of stuff uh, that they haven't implemented in the game because they haven't tested them yet. That would all be inside this server or, or game, if, if we want to get real. So definitely pretty cool right there. And then we do have a new person or a new type of member of the Bloxburg development group. So we do have Froggy Hops. Sorry if you guys could hear that as a trade. Uh, we do have Froggy Hops, we do have Josh, we have Oh Skies, we have Softy, we have Valk, and we have Nymphy or Nymphi. Or Nym Nym yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that name. So if you guys could like put that in the comments, like how to pronounce it, then that would be much appreciated. But I did actually bring up her Twitter if it would load. She is a like type of 3D artist or like an animator. So she makes stuff like this. I'm just gonna mute it. So she makes like animations like all of this like fighting and running maybe there's going to be like a trailer added to blocks brick so definitely pretty cool i'm just going to retweet this so people know that i'm making a video on this so definitely pretty cool right there and then she does obviously retweet uh, stuff from other creators but yeah, she did actually make a trailer and they I think a trailer for Bloxburg would definitely be pretty cool. She makes stories as well, so definitely pretty cool right there. Definitely interested to see what she brings to the Bloxburg development group. Um but do you know Josh, those guys in software are like um 3d artists they made the um thumbnails for blocksburg we don't know what valk is let's actually see who valk is because i don't think i've ever covered this he's a 3d artist including them so maybe he could be making like types of clothes for the blocksburg actual catalog the blocksburg catalog that'd be pretty cool to see 
But then we have the upcoming future section of the wiki fandom, which is where it gets very interesting. So it says various new decals and goodies and material that includes plot overlay, plot background, underscore river side, bloxy acres, and main background could signify based off speculation of new plot selection, menu GUI, new, new plot locations on the map or a map UI, which is a user interface. As a source of navigation, other theories is this could maybe be the jump start of a map revamp. Highly unlikely, but again, you never can tell coming to Bloxburg updates because Cookies likes to keep them fairly secret. Then we do have a new looking Cookies system tour under the, under the model catalog consists of a brand new creation for the helmet in the mining job that is called Mining Helmet. If you guys don't know what that is, if we go to Earth Models, uh, here it is. This is the new leak they are talking about. It is pretty much just a mining helmet for the mining job. So nothing really special there, but it is definitely pretty cool to see that he is actually updating them or maybe uh, it was given to him by one of the uh, people on the development group. Is this, which is a total revamp, uh, revamp, revamp remade from the original version. It may have something to do with the UGC or clothing designers from the team. You welcome to Bloxburg. New welcome to Bloxburg contributor dev named Nymphy Nymphi, whatever you want to call her. Found in the Bloxburg development group, they're a 3D animator for a whopping eight years. Contributed to the RB battles. Oh, definitely pretty cool. And was a winner for the best live event at the annual Bloxy Awards. So we actually did look at our Twitter. Uh, I'll try link it in the description if I can remember. And uh if I can't, then if you guys just go to NMV, you guys should be able to find her. And then this is why it gets interesting because I don't know if the uh, this has anything to do with the 0 10.5 update. Maybe they're removing stereos completely in this update because it's been put here. It's the Unlock Stereo uh, Game Pass went off sale due to modification in Roblox Audio IDs music configuration, providing more protection over titles, privatizing countless songs due to copyright claim. Could this now recon? recompensated those who bought the Game Pass that is now unable to use. People who purchased the uh, Game Pass previously now get the options including 40,000 blocks per cash, 2,000 block bucks or three months of enabled access due to the change in Roblox's cat uh, signed catalog IDs. So definitely pretty cool. If you guys need help and you guys haven't loaded into Bloxburg and you have the Game Pass, then I would definitely recommend either the three months neighborhood or the 2,000 block bucks because 40,000 blocks per cash would be good if you're a noob. But if you've got the uh, stereo Game Pass, then I don't think you are going to be a noob. Uh, so I definitely would really recommend the 2,000 block bucks or the three month neighborhood access. So definitely pretty cool right there. And then of course we have everyone's favorite update of every update, bug and performance fixes. And then we do have the new asset submission feature, which is basically where um, creators or 3D artists or people that make renders of stuff can actually upload their stuff to the Bloxburg um, development group. I think it's a Discord server. I can't remember what it's called. I think we should see Bloxburg um, Bloxburg Discord server uh, that you upload it and then it's like a, a server where you can upload all of your items and you have a possibility of them getting added into the game. So definitely put a current there. I think that is pretty much all for today's video. Uh, if I was to say a possible confirmed release date, definitely between this weekend and April Fools. This could all be just one big April Fools update if I'm not and uh, if I can't really lie because it's all adding up that we haven't had an update in a while and he could be updating it and it could update on April Fools and then all of it could just go away that same day. So definitely be on the lookout. Don't get too hyped or try to confirm there is an update until um, we know that there's like an update in the Bloxburg development group or the test server updated or we do have more leaks. Because the last thing we want to do is actually spread false hope. But on that note, hope you guys did enjoy this video. And you guys, uh, 
If you guys did it, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Sorry, it's kind of rushed. It's kind of uh, early in the morning for me, so I wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys did it, enjoy, and uh, yeah, subscribe, like, comment, share with a friend if you guys did find this interesting or you think they will like these types of videos. And uh, yeah, consider becoming a member of Brand Emerge. It is all linked in the description. We have updated perks, so definitely do check it out if you guys have time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.